Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to another short tutorial on working with TradingView. Let's talk about a common question that comes up when working with indicators. And that question is, what is this long string of text that often appears on my chart? And how can I hide this information? So let's dive right into it and decode the status line. I'm going to go ahead and close this particular indicator and we'll focus on the same information with this indicator right here. There's actually three pieces of information that are available. We have the title, which is right here. We have the inputs and we have the values. The title is obvious, so let's focus on the input values first. The inputs relate to the values that are shown inside of settings. So as I change a value here, for example, if we make this the 25 SMA, you'll notice that that value changed up here. The third piece of information that's available on the status line is the actual values. So for example, given the 25 SMA, the current value is 555.52, where the 50 SMA is 515.47. And what's important to note here is that these values are tied to the current bar. So you can see as I slide my mouse to the right, those values are changing. As we move from bar to bar, the moving averages will also change. If we move our mouse all the way over here to the right side, with this simple indicator, I added this information over here to show the current value of the moving average for the last bar. And we can see right here, this 555.51 is the same as the value that's shown over here. So the question comes all the way back to, how do we actually remove this information from our chart if it's a long string of data that we don't care to see? We can go into settings and that option is right up here. We're going to choose the status line and then we're going to look for this section right here in indicators. So the first thing I'm going to turn off is the values. And once I do that, you'll see that these values right here will no longer be shown on the chart. So if I turn that off, sure enough, that information is no longer available on the chart. The same idea applies to the inputs. Once I turn that off, all we have remaining is the title. There's one last thing I'd like to show you as it relates to working with the status line. If you bring up the settings for an indicator, you'll always see this option here at the bottom to toggle the inputs on the status line off and on. And the way that that works, if we go back into settings and we turn the inputs on right here, you'll see that we now have our inputs shown right here. If we go into the settings, those apply to these two values. Now, if we turn this option off, you'll notice that those values are now removed here from the chart. And the idea is with this particular indicator, it might be helpful to have those values on because we can look at a glance and we can see we're displaying the 25 SMA and the 50 SMA. When you look at the line over here, you have a reference to know that this is the 25 SMA and this is the 50 SMA. But there may be times with certain indicators where that information isn't particularly helpful. And in that case, you can turn this off and then you'll no longer see that information shown here across the top. And that's all there is to it. I hope you found this helpful. We'll see you in the next video.